This is James Com, the guy on the bike, welcoming you all to another half ass production. And we're coming to you from David's Werner on West 19th Street. We're gonna drop in and take a look at some paintings by Luck Toyman. Sorry. Toyman is a very, very famous and influential Belgian artist. And the press release says that this latest group of paintings were inspired by his investigation of the Disney phenomenon. And I've heard some fairly well placed critics say that Toyman's is actually the heir apparent to. Gerhard Richter. So that could be one of the reasons why Europeans are paying so much attention to his work. This is forever. Oil on canvas. 68 by 70 inches. I first became aware of Toyman's work about eight or ten years ago and then with the publication of Barry Schwabsky's Vitamin P for painting in which Toyman was featured I also realized that he was becoming a very very influential painter in Europe oh, this is a big piece this is Turtle 2007 144 by 200 inches. And when I reviewed his last show here, I was kind of uh, affected by his deadpan, almost sense of ennui, his paint handling. This singing flower. He has uh, explored subjects like Belgian colonialism and images from 9 11 in some of his other shows. A lot of very closely modulated tones of color. I think tonight we'll also have a chance to see a little bit uh, different side of the art scene here. This will be attracting a lot of the European collectors and the, the more fashionable people that might be hanging around after Fashion Week here in the city. This is W 2008. And it might not be that W, maybe this is Walt, or at least a little sliver of him here on the right. Let's run into the main gallery. Oh, more large paintings. speaking with Swiss boarding school accents. release states that these paintings depict images of a disintegrating utopia, but that they're very challenging to interpret. This piece is Wonderland, 138 by 
215 inches. I'd say this is probably about 14 by 18 or 19 feet long. I would say that the Belgians certainly have a good taste in linen. Is that dog an art lover? Um, yes, he loves everything that I love. We love the same things. Does he like painting? Yeah, I'm a painter and an art critic. You're an art critic? Yeah. I'm writing about this show. Who are you writing for? Oh, I write for a Canadian publication called... Uh, Dart? White, no, it's called WhiteHotMagazine.com. What do you think of the show? Um, well, I mean, I, I'm, not per, I'm not permitted to be uncool at this show. You're not permitted to be uncool? I have to Okay, be you cool. leave that to me. Yeah. I'll take care of all the uncoolness. Be uncool. What do you think of uh, Luck Toyman and his uh, his reputation here in the uh, this artist? You mean Luke, uh, Luke Toyman? Isn't that his name? Toymans. 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 Yeah, Toymans. Toymans. And what? And what was the the question? What do you think of his reputation here in the states? Um, in New I York. Think that he that he's very well loved by the male young man. Would you like to make no. a comment? No. No? Okay. Now, what was your name again? Claudia. Claudia. And we're going to look at this review no, in... in whitehotmagazine.com. Whitehotmagazine.com. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Claudia. I mean, I like... Uh, What's your dog's name? Ethan. Ethan and I Claudia. I like what everybody likes. So okay. Like. Thanks. This is epic. 2007. 60 by 87. And from what I've read, Toymans does these paintings in one take. I don't know if that means that he sits down and paints them in an afternoon or he just starts and keeps working on one painting until it's finished, but there is a kind of slapdash, make it all happen now, sense to the way he works. Simulation. <laughs> Let's take a look at the drawings. Now this series of pieces are titled Inserts. Gouage on paper. Position C, gouache on paper. Thirty by thirty-five framed. Transitions B. Well, I just spoke with an artist friend who thought these look like airport maps. This is transitions E, which actually has more of an organic feel to it. So this is James Calm reporting from David Swerner and Luke Toymans Forever, the management of magic.